This is Love Johar. Thanks to all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel and thanks for watching my YouTube videos. For all of you out there who are trying to learn and study about ISO 27001 and want to implement information security management system or considering the implementation program within your organizations in the future, all of you are requested to subscribe to my channel because you will find this information that I am sharing over here very useful friends. Uh, so in this particular training video we will try to understand what all questions people commonly stumble upon, some questions that people often come across and some questions that people think about while implementing ISO 27001 within their organizations. So this particular training video will give you a basic overview of all the different uh, questions and obstacles actually which come to uh, you know people's mind while they are implementing and doing the ISO 27001 implementation within their organizations. So the first question that comes to my mind uh, in this particular area is uh, where to begin the ISO 27001 implementation from. So which means that from which exact point should we start the ISO 27001 implementation. So I mean to say that when you or, or your organization decides or wants to pursue an opportunity to explore the implementation of ISO 27001 within your organization, then what should be the first thing that you need to look out for, for over there. So my answer in this particular uh, case is the first and foremost thing that you need to understand is the context of your organization and by this I mean that you need to completely understand the primary requirements that you have for which you want to consider the implementation of ISO 27001 uh, within your organization because ISO 27001 is a strategic decision which is often taken by the management and the stakeholders but the reason and context for which you might consider this implementation might be different and would differ on case to case basis for all the organizations out there. So till the time you are clear, uh, you are not clear about the requirements of your organization because of which you are actually implementing the uh, ISO 27001, you are actually making a huge time, money and energy investment without knowing the cause. So in this particular investment, you will not be in a position to take any step forward because of the uh, you know unawareness about these things. So make sure that you are absolutely clear on what are your implementation you know, uh, reasons, why are you implementing this particular standard and why are you implementing this standard within your organization, what are the benefits that your organization will get from this implementation. So the first and foremost thing, the answer to, to the main question is you should look out for is to have a strong business case for ISO 27001 within your organization and the business case should be an approved document which is the first and foremost approved document that your management should have in place uh, that you will actually need throughout your ISMS journey of implementation you know and this is very important statement let me re repeat this once more an approved business case is the first thing that you should have in place before beginning your ISMS implementation so your business case should have a proper context for the implementation of ISO 27001 and it should also be approved by your executive team and your management stakeholders only then you can proceed with the actual implementation of ISMS. So now after that the second question that comes to my mind is how will you ensure that your executive team and your management stakeholders are completely aligned and are standing along with your side uh, towards achieving the ISO 27001 certification. So this I believe is the most common hurdle uh, for all the information security officers which are out there who are trying to implement the ISO 27001 within, within their organizations. So for the first time, uh, this is one of the big hurdles that you will have to overcome for a successful implementation within your organization. So the answer that comes to my mind for this particular question is, first and foremost, you, you yourself should be clear on the benefits and advantages of ISO 27001 uh, within your organization. Along with the business case, the context and the organizational aspect, uh, you should have the perspective of, of implementation within your organization absolutely clear from your organizational standpoint. Once you are clear uh, yourself about what you are doing and why you are doing this implementation in the first place, only then you will be in a position to pitch this idea to your higher management and executive team. So till the time you yourself are not convinced and completely sure that you have to implement ISO 27001 within your organization, you will never be in a position to get other people on board with your idea. So the solution was uh, for this, so, the, so this particular solution that I have given you is for all the inside information security officers which are out there. But uh, w what will happen if you are an outside consultant and the organization that has actually appointed you for implementing the ISMS is not showing any kind of interest in the actual uh, implementation but instead just taking this as a regular project without any deadlines and focus. 
So again, in this case, you have to understand that you have to remind all the executive management team on the importance of the primary causes and the main reasons why they have appointed you and uh, why they have asked you to implement the ISO 27001 within your organization. And you basically have to bring them on board with this uh, idea again to bring it to bring uh, some momentum over here and to bring some speed in this particular implementation. So after that, the third question that uh, I, I have you know seen in most of the cases and which comes to my mind is, uh, what are the important documents that I need to be aware of while implementing ISMS within my organization? This one of the basic questions that everyone asks who wants to implement ISO 27001 within their organizations. So this answer is present in the standard itself and for that you have to purchase the standard from the ISO website as all the standards are copyright and intellectual property of ISO. So once you are you have purchased the ISO 27001 standard from ISO, then this standard itself will make you familiar with what all are the requirements for implementing ISMS within your organization and what are the main documents that you should have in place while implementing ISO 27001 for the first time within your organization. So after that, the last question that comes to my mind is, should we need to implement the project within the organization by ourselves or should we take the help from another outside consultant or a vendor uh, with have, with, who has some uh, specialized skills, you know, who has some specialized knowledge, who has some past experience uh, in dealing uh, in this field. So what exactly we should do, like should we implement this within the organization by our own managers or by our own uh, information security officers or should we take an approach from someone who is a consultant out there and who is having a specialization in this field. So what I will suggest from, again this is a personal opinion which I have, I will always suggest going with some third party consultants who are trained in this particular implementation for your organization. There are n number of training providers and vendors and consultancies out there who can actually have help you in this particular manner. And these consultancies and third party vendors have years of proven experience in ISO 27000 implementation. So it's always better to have someone who knows the game with you so that you don't come across any unexpected setbacks and shocks at the time of the actual ISO 27000 certification audit when the auditors will be coming to check your status on where you stand in terms of ISO 27000 certification within your organization. So that's it for this particular training video. If you have any more questions that you would like to ask me, then please feel free to comment them in the below section below this video. Thanks for watching and please make sure that you go through this video once again because uh, repetition is the key for success. So thanks for watching. This is Love Johar. If you have any questions or concerns in terms of what I have discussed here, then please feel free to comment below and I will be happy to respond back. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, I, I always say that uh, say this all the time because ISO 27001 is a very vast topic and there are tons of more videos in the pipeline that I will be uploading here very soon. So if you will be subscribed to my channel, you will be the first one who will be able to uh, watch these videos and learn more from these videos. Thank you so much. This is Love Joe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.